I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand transformation of quadratic functions. Our concentration will mainly be on vertical stretch and compression. We are given here graph of y equals to x square, a parabola. From this From this parent function y equals to x square, we will sketch two other functions g of x equals to 2x square and h of x equals to half x square. Let me first explain you how did we get this particular graph y equals to x square. Now to sketch any graph we can have table of values. So in table of values we should always take some key points. For a parabola, the key values for x are, let me write on this side, left side, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So these will give us 5 coordinate points. So we are trying to sketch y equals to x square first. So y is equals to x square. To get the value, we'll just square these numbers minus 2 square is 4 minus 1 square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so we get set of 5 points these 5 points are the first one is minus 2 4 then we have minus 1 1 0 0 1 1 and 2 4 on a graph paper plot these points so we have them here minus 2, 4, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 4. Once you plot these points, connect them with a smooth curve like a parabola, right? The shape of this curve should be like a parabola as shown here. At the end, you can mark arrows to show that this graph is continuous and it extends upwards. So that is how you get the graph which is shown on this paper. Now let us see from here how to sketch transformed functions. So first we will do g of x which is equals to 2x square. Now in this particular function what we observe is that the y values are multiplied by 2, right? So y values are multiplied by 2. Type of transformation is vertical stretch. by a factor of 2. That is the transformation. Now from the original graph, for the same x value, the y value has been increased 2 times. So we'll multiply each y value by 2. So let's start from, let's say, this point. Here y value is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So this point goes upwards and it will be at minus 2, 8 on the graph of g of x which is 2x square. Similarly, let's take the next point. y value is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so it moves right there. 0 times 2 is 0, so it remains. So the vertex for this graph remains at the same point. Now 1 times 2, so that is at 2, so that comes here you'll find it is symmetric about the y-axis or x equals to 1. This point here has a y value of 4. It gets multiplied by 2. So it becomes 8. So we get this point right this place. Now joining these points we get our parabola which is I mean so try to make a smooth curve and this will represent g of x which is 2 times x square. So that is how you sketch a quality function which has been stretched by a factor of 2. If you need to sketch a quality function which is stretched by 
some other factor, let's say 3, you have to multiply each y value by 3, get new set of points and join those points to get a graph. Now let's see how to do the second function which is h of x equals to half x square. Now here what do we have? In this particular case we have vertical compression. So here we have vertical compression by a factor of half. So compression really means that we'll start with the original graph. The y values now are multiplied by half instead of 2 since we have half as the coefficient of x square. So if you multiply 4 by half you get the number 2. So this point moves downwards to 2. The point at minus 1, 1 will move at half. 0 times half is 0 so it remains next point moves to half from 1 then from 4 we get half of 4 as 2 right so we get a graph which is kind of like this do you see that connecting these points we get our parabola so at times you can take more points you could have taken 3 3 squared is 9 and also minus 3 whose square is 9 the points shown here half of 9 is 4.5 so it is like 4.5 is somewhere there and that is 3, 4.5. So we'll bring this to 4.5, right? So that is somewhere here. So you could extend this towards that point, mark arrows. Do you see that? So that is how you could actually sketch your parabola. So that is the parabola for h of x, which has been compressed vertically by a factor of half. As you can see, when we stretch vertically, the graph becomes narrower, its axis remains same, vertex is also same, 0, 0. When we compress, it becomes wider, axis and vertex do remain same. So unless and until you translate it left, right, up or down, the axis and the vertex or the turning point for the parabola remains same. So what really changes is the shape of parabola. It becomes narrower or wider. So that is how we can actually transform uh, the function which has vertical stretch or compression. I hope the point is clear. Let's look into the next video. We will discuss translation of quadratic functions. Thank you and all the best.